This conference will now be recorded. Welcome to the Fashion of Poetry Open Mic. Happy Saturday. And we're just going to go <laughs> around the circle and we're going to start with Kathy Jo and just jump right in. Let's hear your beautiful words. Okay, I'm Kathy Jo Bryant from California, USA. My first poem is called Just Not Right. It seems to be people really like it. So I'll read this one. I tried you for a day. The day just went all wrong. It arrested my sweet song. Why was it that way? Sometimes we give a try to what seems very right. We taste a sample bite and then we want to cry. Hun, don't hold my heart. It must be free to leave. You are free to grieve, even though I now must part. Beautiful. Thank you. Nice. Thank you very much. And next would be Annette. Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon or evening, wherever you may be. Um, I am sitting here trying to figure out. I'm doing the stuff off my, the cuff. So um, I think I'll do one, a short little one called The <clears throat> Goddess of the Moonlight. Lovely and serene, you can see her at night. A beauty she is, the goddess of moonlight. In the still of the night, there is magic in the air. Her skin so soft, golden locks of flowing hair. With her blue eyes, she can calm a savage beast. Her voice is soothing, promoting love and peace. Wise beyond her years, sage knowledge she has gained. She knows a celestial body she knows from whence she came. She's an extraordinary woman with a zesting appeal, exemplary beyond imagination with a hint of zeal. She's in command of the stars that twinkle in the sky. She is a friend of the white dove encircling her as they fly. Listen at night and you can hear her melodically sing. Through the air it reverberates with a delightful ring. Do not look her in the eyes. She will cast a spell. You'll fall in love. She will take control of your emotions under the starry night above. Thank you. Thank you. That was lovely. Next would be Dennis. All right. Uh, this poem is called uh, Be Still, My Love. Be still, my love, and say no more. It is only you that I adore. You're everything that makes me whole, my greatest friend, my heart and soul. I found in you a place to be. You'll always hold a piece of me. The way I show my love for you all started with the words I do. Before you doubt who I adore, <coughs> Be still, my love, and say no more. Thank you. Dennis, are you working on a, a book, a project? Yeah, actually, um, Annette and I are, are, are collaborating on a project, and it's, um, it's a collaboration between a mother and a child. And um, we're uh, getting pretty into it, uh, but it's, it's going to take place as, you know, from moment of conception until you know the moment of death um so we're kind of going along and um you know creating as we go and uh it's been a lot of fun so far but yeah Great. very excited very excited to do it wonderful i'm really excited about it as well. actually maybe we should read a couple pieces from that today yeah hey, that's absolutely nice whatever idea. yeah absolutely okay awesome thank you okay anna <coughs> Anna, we're ready for you. Not me. Okay, something undefined. That's uh, the title of my first poem. Blew out a child's wet. Something undefined. A drop of hail in budding trees. Sunlight slipped into a well. 
sign of unconsciousness, not that yet, no more alive, desire, leap and link, a twilight zone. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, Jill. This poem has been heard and seen before in various incarnations. Um, I've used it when people I know have lost um, someone very, very important to them. But this time I've taken it as far tailored to the individual as I can, and I've even changed the title. So um, I hope you enjoy it. It's called Renaissance Man. Renaissance Man, it's a celebration of a life. When you remember him, if you want to know who truly loves you, Read the letters of your beloved dead. Go ahead, thumb through ink-stained pages bundled with blue ribbons. Remember sailing and swimming in azure waters of summer. Recall wandering through galleries, museums, and ancient crumbling castles gazing in awe at the magnificence of the Great Wall of China and the majesty of the forbidden city, Peking, stunned at the splendor of the Sistine Chapel. Always there will be joy forever etched on your heart as you recall a history of glorious shared adventures, your smaller hand in his. This beloved man, your partner in this life and in all the ones to follow, a father and grandfather, your husband, best friend, and muse forever lost to you is here he is everywhere you can find him in faces of family smiling at you from pictures hung on crowded walls and hear your sweetheart's voice ring clear beneath his children's laughter is that not perhaps the sweetest sound of all? Tell his stories at the table, pass them on as cherished gifts. Choose not to mourn this parting. Embrace instead a treasure trove, a million reasons to celebrate and await that oh so glorious reunion when your time is nigh remembering always to honor a life well lived <coughs> thank, thank you that's so beautiful it brings tears to my eye thank you very much thank you rita oh Okay. Good morning, good evening, wherever you all are. So the poem that I'm going to recite now is about nature. Bounties of nature. Nature with it, its extensive trends, dances, spreading its wings and feathers. Blooming with sweet, colorful flowers, spraying fragrance with enormous pleasantness. Beauty of the hills is so divine with waterfalls singing their rhymes. The blue-green sea 
forming ripples at times is a beauty of nature to be seen every time. Nature with its bounties hails everyone. Singing rhymes of divinity calls upon the sun. Flowers, crimson, red and blue. Flowers, crimson, red and blue, dancing in the morning dew. Birds flying, chirping, sweet, melodious songs give mirth to magnificent, soulful hearts. Angels dancing in the sky shower blessings with beautiful chimes. Thank you. Thank you. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. That was really lovely. Thank you. I love that. Very lovely. So for us, go to unmute yourself. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hi, everybody. Um, I think the next one, um, uh, if it's okay, Darren, uh, Dennis and Marcel uh, wrote a poem, so we want to do perhaps that one together. So uh, perhaps for next time. But for now, I'm going to read uh, Precise Moments. Precise moments between the two of us, captured in the pool of nectar that glistened and glow, fills my heart with beauty as I bathed in the afterglow. In moments so precise that I hold dear, you you leave me breathless every time you are near. You leave me motionless, completely still. You hold my ha heart in your hands, you bend it at will. In a momentary lapse, in a momentary bliss, you fold and unfold me as I get lost in your kiss. Every touch feels like the sun, breathing warmth upon my skin. I look deep into your eyes and I feel it begin. I see the two of us as the sun begins to set and rise. I see the two of us in a paradise, the tropics and the beach. I see a love that I thought was once out of reach. The tides wash in and out as, as my breath leaves your mouth, as our eyes gently meet. I feel love begin to grow and repeat. I think of you through the night and day, in precise moments, in a momentary bliss, and I know it is you that I miss. Thank you. Thank you. Sarfraz, that's a brand new favorite for me. Yes, isn't that beautiful? Thank you. That's the romantic gorgeous. Poet hits again. No, that, that's in um, that's in two hearts in the romantic bit. So yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yeah, I'll listen to Jill inflating your ego, Sarfraz, which is right. So it's beautiful. <laughs> You're making me blush. He's a romantic. <laughs> He's looking for a partner. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I am. <laughs> In every poem that I write. So, I think there so. you go. Okay. Speaking of somebody looking for a partner, um, it seems like Levan has met somebody, so he's going to read to us a poem today. Levan? Yeah, there you good. Go. Good morning. Uh, I have, I just wrote this one. So uh, to follow after that beautiful rendition from Suarez, I have to try to, you know, keep it on that tip. So uh, this poem is called My Side. In your love, I find my total completeness and awareness. For so long without you, my journey was that of precarious. I lived on the edge of trying to find the contentment I so wearily searched for and of. I fell into the pattern of the stigma of fast gratification. Nothing I tried brought me any real long lasting simulation. I was in a dark passage of instability or the treadmill of stagnation where my life has a major and only liability. I wanted so badly for this pain to end and break this awful pattern I was in. Just when to the ways of temptation I was to give up my soul, you suddenly appeared through the darkness with a bright and ominous glow. Your virtue, your virtuous 
a beautiful essence and being showed me everything I was wanting and needing. Your arm, your warm embrace provided me safety and shelter from the storms that seemed to follow me all throughout my journey and life. I am now grateful to be on a new road where you're always there, no matter what comes my way, baby, with me by my side. So to all the women in the world, your greatness is appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. A nice dedication. Yeah. William. So the title of the poem is uh, Love Forever. Love Forever. Changing. I'm just reading it. Love Forever. Clinging to those soft wings of love. Clinging to those soft wings of love. I plunk into the endless sky above, seeking consolation in this immensity, a dove chirping under arms of curiosity. Clinging to those soft wings of love, I plunk into the endless sky above, seeking consolation in this immensity, a dove chirping under arms of curiosity. Then, wandering endlessly towards west then wandering wandering endlessly towards west triangulized within this normatic quest embracing the misty dawn bliss of lust embracing the misty dawn bliss of lust kissing the dew nights of a wilderness kissing the dewy nights of a world wilderness danced with nature even in wetness danced with nature even in net wetness sorrows disappeared in a bling of gaze sorrows disappeared in a bling of gaze as i glimpse you in every modes of blaze sorrows disappeared in a bling of gaze as i glimpse you in every modes of blaze stillness never a alone inspire me ever stillness never alone ness inspire me ever just i became enclosed by your love forever just i became enclosed by your love forever here ends the poetry love forever thank you very nice thank you this is uh I think I am supposed to recite only one poem. I think so, because we're of lack go, of time. Well, we're going to go Sorry? around. Um, we have time for more okay. poetry, but we'll come back around to you. Right, right. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will go ahead. Actually, I'm going to change my poem. Um, I'm going to read Planting for Hope. This is actually part of a collaboration that Levan and I are working on. Um, he wrote a poem called Fly hours still bloom and actually and then after that is mine planning for hope so i'm just going to read my poem for this part while planning for hope what harvest is there when seeds are planted in mud will it drain enough for a bountiful harvest or drown the seeds in sorrow tilling the rough stony soil sifting out big rocks leaving some pebbles for good saving the stones for beautiful wells of strong hope so as not to waste any goodness of this earth for useless sourceless endings and thank you and kathy joe you're up next all right this one is in the hush of the early morn I pause as I wait in the stillness, in the hush of the early morn. May I face this day with gladness as this day is being born. Though shadows may surround me, let me rise to the bright sun's rays. And whatever this day befalls me, may I diffuse joy and praise. O oh, seeker of contentment, please look around and see the good and the best in others. 
and contented you will be. Thank you very much. Very nice. Annette. Okay. Um, this one's a little different, so hopefully I won't fumble over it too much. It's called The Message of a Bluebird. I beseech you, oh my dear, in this folly of a masquerade called love, thou sent a message to me, delivered by a beautiful bluebird, not a drab white dove. With thy hand you have penned me a romantic letter with a delicious sonnet. Such a luxury, such a luxury to see thy ink spilled on parchment, my head adorned with a floral bonnet. Oh, my heart doth skip a beat. I now feel the fluttering within my chest. I long to hold thy hands in mine and clutch them tightly to my breast. Where art thou now? Excuse me just a second. Where art thou now? Um, for my heart quivers and needs calming and still. If thou cannot be with me soon, pray tell, send another sonnet thy hand hath quilled. Thy words are literary serenade that dance in the walls within my soul, a palette of colorful words presented to me. I distantly hear the tides ebb and flow. I can almost see the waves crashing into the land, splashing up against a rock. I can hear the cries of the seagulls overhead as they soar in the sky in their flock. I will wait for thee, my love, as long as it takes within the kind confines of my home. With a meeting, it will be when thou finally comes to me, whispering love in my ear, from my lips will escape a moan. Thank you. Lovely. Uh, Dennis. Okay, so this is uh, called The Truth of Love. Uh, as you can probably tell by now, I'm a romantic, so I have a lot of that stuff. Um, but, uh, this is actually a poem I wrote for my, well, soon to be wife, uh, 13 years ago when we, uh, just prior to when we got married. So it's an old poem, older poem. Uh, so here we go. To the moment I gazed upon you, I found the truth in your eyes. The meaning of love came to me encased in an angelic disguise. Your smile wandered like a road so long that touched my heart to its core. Outer beauty stopped and looked about, inner beauty danced through every pore. The very instant my lips touched yours, time stopped and took a needed rest. The second I took your hand to mine, my empty life became so very blessed. With selfless truth and everlasting faith, we are brought together, you and I, by a power that has given to us a true feeling few will recognize. Chance had no time to stop and play its role as we came together on a certain date. Our souls collided on a course planned out, two beings captured in a web of fate. Through you and your precious child lies my place in this world and above. On my fateful quest of finding you, I now have found the truth of love. Beautiful. Dennis, that's gorgeous. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Anna? March the 17th will be St. Patrick's Day. So, a deep green limerick. There was a late winter day when people would stop to say, St. Patrick's Day here, let's wear green and drink beer. I enjoy a relaxing day. Thanks. On that note, I've got my lucky Irish socks ready for St. Patrick's Day because I'm a lot of Irish in me. Okay, let's see. Chill. What is to dedicate the poem to you. <coughs> you like them, yes. Am I ready, Lisa? 
go for it. Okay. Everybody has one of these poems. Why do you write? Um, you get asked it if the minute if people say to you, what do you do? And you say, I'm a poet. And why do you write? And every one of us, whether we've actually put it down or whether it's just something that we can respond because it's always there. But um, this poem is kind of my answer to why do you write? It's called From the Pen Within. From the pen within, write from your soul. Write because you don't know how not to. Write to nourish your spirit. Write when you soar with unparalleled elation. And when you are engulfed by a sadness so deep, there are no tears. Write for the freedom it promises. And when writing is the only way to scale the walls of your prison. Write about truths. Pay no attention to rhyme schemes, line breaks, genres, word games, prompts, and syllable counts. Write from sun up to sun down, deep into another dark espresso night. Write because you must when the choice to not write will be the certain death of your spirit. On point, very nice. Thank you. Let's see, Rita. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, everybody. Um, as I said earlier, myself and Dennis did a, a poem. So what I'm gonna do is read the first bit of the poem called at the water's edge. Dennis, are you ready for the second bit? Yeah, okay. I think we're good to go. Okay. Okay, so this is a collaboration between Dennis and myself called at the water's ed edge. As I stand at the water's edge on the cusp of beauty's gaze, I turn and surrender to the dust and the haze. The heat caresses and kisses my skin. Gently I luxuriate and let it in. As I watch the majesty, the beauty take hold, the setting sun shapes and moulds me. As I walk, as I stand at the water's edge, I breathe in the warmth of the sun. As distant mountains call out my name, they rejuvenate me, take away the pain. I watch migrating birds in the melting orange summer sky. They surrender to the beauty as they dip their wings in the water as I say goodbye. As I stand at the water's edge, I reminisce about memories from afar. When I held you within my loving arms, beneath the heavens of the moonlit stars, like a swooping bird you came to me from a breathtaking view perched up high. But in a splendid moment of serenity, you touched my heart like the migrating birds you said goodbye. As I stand at the water's edge and gaze into its reflective light, I can feel your presence here with me as your shadow taken flight. Ignites a flame at the water's edge, I call your name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you. We'll do hey, another one. You. Yes, it's been fun. Sorry for that. Keep doing it. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Hello? Yes. 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 Okay. So, shall I recite my poem now? Hello? Yes, Rita, go ahead and recite. Okay. The poem which I'm going to recite now, its title is Silent Words. You spoke through your eyes, which I could literally revise. You spoke through your eyes, which I could literally revise. Your lips were silent. Your lips were silent. You were speaking through your mind. 
smiling in an alluring way smiling in an alluring way looking into my eyes you spoke million words which touched my heart in a world so sublime holding you in my arms i could hardly let you go holding you in my arms i could hardly let you go for your eyes told me your story of love beauty and glory thank you thank you thank you uh william william hello he needs to unmute william i wonder if we have a sound delay well his mic is still on mute yeah mm -hmm. he can unmute it william okay we'll go ahead to levan Well, since it's Women's, um, Women's Appreciation Month or Women's History Month, here's another one called Woman. I am proud of the beautiful women that grace my life with their beauty and presence. Each moment was a learning experience and a blessing. Each one ingrained in me lessons of instruction and awareness of self. Their power was the backbone of my validation of my manhood. The principles of family and its values propelled me to become the best variation of me that God tended me to be. Through their prayers and selfless sacrifice, I continued their dream. Living has a positive example of perseverance, strength against all odds that they face. I am grateful to all they provided me and continue in honor of their friendship and support that cannot ever be replaced. Thank you to all the women for you, the thread that holds it all together and makes a house into a home, loving home loving caring and positive structure of a home without your tenacity grace and dignity a nation will be built for you're the mother of all humanity you're the one and only woman thank you thank you that's really nice, nice. are you audible now are you audible now okay william it's all yours yeah yeah before before our master before our master eyes hold celestial music which has no echo eyes hold celestial music which has no echo your soul is restless for such silent melody your soul is restless for such silent melody there is an ador in which the body is not there is say an ador in which the body is not the soul longs for such untouched love the soul longs for such untouched love there is a naked truth which has no figure there is a naked truth which has no figure the soul longs for his shapeless hidden truth the soul longs for this shapeless hidden truth bring all beauty bring all beauty bound your fell out into my desperate life dear angel bring all beauty bounty of a love into my desperate life dear angel as i as you brought them into my home as you brought them into my home sweep away the dusty fragment sweep away the dusty fragment fill the empty wine jars fill the empty wine jars and mend all that has been neglected fill the empty wine jars and mend all that has been neglected then open the inner doors of your love 
shrine. Then open the inner doors of your love sharing shrine. Love, light the white candles, light the white candles, and let us meet in silence before our master. Eyes hold celestial music which has no echo. Your soul is restless for such silent melody. There is an adore in which the body is not. The soul longs for such untouched love. There is a naked truth which has no figure. The soul longs for this shapeless hidden truth. And bring all beauty, bring all bounty of a love into my desperate life, dear angel, as you brought them into my home. Sweep away the dusty fragment, fill the empty wine jars, and mend all that has been neglected. Then open the inner doors of your love shrine, light the white candles, and let us meet in silence before our master, before our grandmaster. That's it. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Okay. Um, I think I got everybody. Did I miss anybody? Okay, I guess I'll do mine. This is called Fight, and it's another response um, to the collaboration. Fight. They say nobody should spend all their life in pain because they are hated. Yet the hatred of mankind spends lives as if they're worthless. Why should a life be spoiled like rotted meat in the sun to gain the power of a weak society just to prove some kind of point? No, stand and stand tall. Fighting with our might for peace. Souls are worth more than rotted meat in a high noon sun. They are worth the fight to love. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's lovely, Lisa. Thank you. And Kathy Jo, you're on. Okay. Field of my dreams. I've found a fantastic and idyllic field of dreams. It's where reality and fantasy meet on cue. It is there we can meet all the sweet pets and best friends we've lost through the years. It is filled with fragrant flowers from all the weddings and glorious events we have ever attended. In profusion everywhere are examples of all the achievements we ever wished to realize. In that field of dreams, our deepest desires come to fruition. That's good. Nice. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Annette? Hey. Um, Hello. In yeah, today's I time, read, but I won a couple of awards on this one this week, so there must be something about it. Um, called the window to my soul. They say the eye is a window to the soul. What can you see when you look at my eyes? Do you see? Do you see sorrow? Do you see the joy? Do you see my tomorrows? What can you tell me if you look into my eyes? Can you send? Can you see my happiness? You know my improprieties. You know my beginning. You know my story. Can you see? Tell how deep I love. Can you see my passion? Do you know that I'm romantic? That I have that I live to show compassion. Do you see the gleam, the glisten in my eyes? Do you see my heartache that I try to disguise? Can you see the determination? Can you see that I will not compromise? Does my eye tell you who I once was? Does it tell you who I have become? Does it tell you my future? Rest beyond the rising sun. Can you see my soul beyond the window of my eye? Thank you. Thank you, that was lovely. I can see why it won a prize. Okay. It won nice more time. than one prize. It won several prizes. She's I'm just being modest. 
Not surprised. Dennis. Dennis, are you there? Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm here. Sorry, I froze for a minute. And, um, uh, so I'm just going to go a little more, a uh, more, more, little more light. Uh, this is actually one of the poems that um, I, uh, with Annette and I, the collaboration with our book, uh, and this is called Scary Monster. So, Mama, I'm sorry I woke you up, but I'm really scared right now. A scary monster got in my closet and I really don't know how. I saw his big beady eyes and his mouth with pointy teeth. I quickly pulled my covers up and hid Teddy and me underneath. I waited until it was completely safe and I hurried down the hall. I ran so quickly to your bed to tell you what I saw. Mama, can I sleep with you? I know you'll take my fears away. You'll always make the monsters leave and know just the right words to say. That's adorable. Yeah. yeah. Dennis, that's beautiful. I'd like to keep that. Thank you, thank you. Yes, thank you. I appreciate it. Anna. What about Women's Day? Huh? It will be next uh, March 8th. Doctor, heal people's touch. Months and years, rapes and stains, patient eyes, scratched cheeks, broken noses, tongue clouds. Too many hands, squeeze our blood. Too many feet, crashed up to death. Our wrath, surge like a wave. Our anger, mix us with relentless. The best flower, stop blooming so much. Horror was deep rooted in our heart. Sorrow took deep roots in our sky. Doctor, heal people's touch. Cover with mud, bury with down. We learn to hug, we learn to act. We need to move in the clearest sunshine. We want to dance at night in the soft moonlight. We know we can sing all together. Our dance and love song will make us proud. Thank you. Nice. Thanks. Let's see, Jill. This poem is called Your Students Wish. None of us got where we are without someone giving us encouragement, cheering us on, being an on and off mentor. If we're lucky, we've had several. Some of us have one. So in a way, you can all take this and approach the individuals in your life who are still cheering you on, encouraging you, and you continue to learn from. So this is for everyone's mentor. Your students wish. Walk me through the twisty paths of your thoughts. Teach me the wondrous things a thousand others have taught you. Educate me, praise me, scold me gently and laugh with me. Bring me into your heart and show me the part you have carved within just for me. I have lived far too long inside the echoes of my silence. Your voice is a prayer answered, a glorious welcome blessing and a gift that I shall celebrate forever. Thank you. Thank you. That was, uh, Jill, that was beautiful. It hit, it hit home with me because I, uh, I am a, myself a teacher. Uh, so it was wonderful. Very nice. I'm so glad that you enjoyed it. Thank you, Dennis. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, it was a school teacher in sixth grade that inspired me to start writing poetry. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Thank you, everyone.
Rita. Okay. Now the poem which I'm going to recite is the title is Dreams. Dream high. Dream big. Dream high. Dream to touch the sky. Dream big. Dream high. Dream to touch the sky. Wearing wings of golden dreams, try to fly high. Setting few goals is a must to achieve your rewards. Setting few goals is a must to achieve your rewards. Stay motivated. You are sure to get bountiful awards. Hold on to your dreams. Hold on to your dreams. Let your light shine bright. Be optimistic and march forward with your head held high. Be it roses or thorns. Be it roses or thorns. Cross the road with determination. Touch the bright sky with your unending resolution. Give much energy to your dreams and see their fruitfulness. Give much energy to your dreams and see their fruitfulness. With your determination, you will achieve the greatness. Thank you. Thank you. That's lovely. So, friends. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, everyone. OK, my last. Uh, oh. Just bear with me. I'll, I'll put the um, I'll put the camera back on again. I think. Okay, so I think we're we're good to go. My last poem is called "Lockdown Period of 2020." This is something that Annette probably, <laughs> probably Annette doesn't like. <laughs> you might like it. Okay, lockdown period of 2020. In the lockdown period of 2020. The world closed its doors, the streets were empty, but in the parks people were aplenty. Here they enjoyed the summer sun, some would walk while others would run. Such an array of colours, a rare plumage worthy of spring. Some showed a little, while others showed everything. Some, some women walked with their traditional dress, while others walked in their tarmac to impress. They smiled, for they knew that their husbands were fed, the children were watered and topped up in bed. The tropical birds were set free, those desi types of martyrs, hidden behind the veil, the perda lines. These women, these women walk in the park at the same time, at the same place. Their eyes sparkle and shine, their faces full of laughter lines. In the lockdown period of 2020, the world closed its doors, the streets were empty. The last of the children sat on slides and swings, while the rumble and tumble of teenagers played with football and pounded the basketball rings. They smiled and waved at me as I waved back in return. I watched them twist and turn, have their last laughs as people began to put on masks, go go on one by one. They had they had come and had their fun, escaped the reality of what they had become. As the sun began to set, you could be mistaken, you may even forget that the country was in lockdown as the park became dark and empty. Suddenly people were once again aplenty. Thank you. Okay. Well, Very beautiful Thank you. William. William, are you still with us? Yeah, I'm mute. Okay, let's go on to LeVan and uh, maybe William will come back in. Okay, uh, I have, uh, let me say something deep. Um, quality of life. The simplicity of life lies within its basic natural resources and beauty. It provides through the earth in which we are connected to the spiritual all we need to grow to maceration we fall short 
where we get caught up in the temptation of materialistic gain. These simple pleasures are only temporary and is just to heighten the physical being of our essence as we go along our journey's ways. See things and the wonderful see things in the wonderful world around you with your spiritual eyes and its intangibles and meaning are vital to your assistance as well to your quality of life. Thank you. Thank you. Jill, do you want to go ahead and read the poem for Lizzie? Lizzie wrote this poem after doing a great deal of research and following the election results here in the United States. And those of you who don't know Lizzie, she is a protege of mine and several others. Um, and she was very excited that the United States finally had a new president who could make changes in what we've all been going through in the past four years. So she understood the significance of this election and she has done a lot of research. Um, and the result is a beautiful poem, poem honoring our new president, Joe Biden. And I hope that this poem, um, becomes a sparrow poetry video that we can all enjoy sooner rather than later. Bear with me, I've not read this poem aloud before, but I'll do my very best to honor Elizabeth. It's called Preserved for God's Own Country. If your eyes scan this epistle, dear president, pray, receive my praise. Your wonderful feats are extraordinary. A seraph is known to be one of an order of celestial beings with three wings. To God's own country, president, I suggest you are an angel, the highest of hierarchy, like unto a seraph. Dear president of God's own country, you have showered love in plenty to the people of God's own country. Great America, you are blessed with a man I admire, his courage, his integrity, I desire. He overcame painful hurdles for your sake, unpleasant memories he put away. He is serving you longer than anyone without a break. He would live in the heart of Americans. His legacy would be adored forever. His years of endless toils for America will not be snubbed in a blue moon. This I believe with great spirits. President Biden, I know is no fan of segregation, for his love hates no color. He despises the wall of shame that segregates us without shame. He has opened the gates, welcomed once despised guests with open arms like unto a father. The man with the fierce persona of a legend preserved for God's own country would live even after his death 
in the tales of men for his good deeds men would speak of alas someone has come to make america great once again authored by elizabeth oh thank you thank you and actually i think i'm going to have that be our last poem of the day uh, i think that's a good one to end on thank you all so much for being here big round of applause everyone thank you so much and we'll do this again next month thank you thank that you awesome. happy saint patrick's Bye, day Thank you. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye. -bye. Have a Bye -bye. great day. Bye. Bye. We'll see you.